Hi, first graders. I'm back. And I am ready to help make you a little bit smarter. But for you to get smarter, you have to work and learn and do your best. I hope you watched the social studies video from yesterday. You're going to need that to take this little quiz. If you haven't watched it or if you've forgotten about it, go ahead and watch that again before we take this quiz. Number one. Someone who makes rules should be fair or mean. Which one? Fair, mean. Do you like fair rules or do you like rules that are mean? Number two, what is a responsibility? Remember, a responsibility is your job that most kids have. Homework or make money? Homework. Is it your job to make the money for your family or is it your job to do your homework? Number three, what is a responsibility that teachers have? I'm a teacher, so which one is my job? Buy clothes for the students? Do I buy you clothes? Or help students learn? Do I help you learn? Which one is it? Circle the best answer or color the dot. Who keeps you well at school? Who keeps us healthy? And who takes care of us when we're sick? Is it the janitor? That's Mr. Bob. Or the nurse? That's Brie Lynn. So does the janitor take care of you when you're sick? Does Mr. Bob, do you go see Mr. Bob when you're sick? Or is it Brie Lynn? Do you go see Brie Lynn when you're sick, the nurse? Name a responsibility that children in some other countries have. What are some jobs you think other children do? Do they do homework? Do they help take care of the little kids? Do they have to go fetch water? Do they have to help around the house and do chores? What are some of their jobs? And name a rule you follow at school. What is a rule we follow? What rules do we follow at school? Think about it. I want to hear about one rule. Use your first grade writing and use your sounds to help you write. I can't wait to see what you've written. Then let's look at some of your other work for today. Color by words to know. We know how to do this. We have friend in blue, full in red, good in green, and pull in yellow. And I colored one space just as an example of how I like your coloring to see. Fill up all the white space and do your best to color in the lines. Make it beautiful and be proud of the work that you do. Do your best so that you can be proud of it. We're not just hurrying just to get it done. No, we're doing our best. On the back of that page is some more work on your words to know. It's a little hard to see it, but I think we can. So remember your words to know are hold, full, pull, friend, good, many. Which word matches this picture? Circle it. Which word matches the picture? Circle it. Pull or friend, many or hold. Which word matches the picture? Many or pull? Circle it. Which word matches the picture? Many or full? Circle it. Which word matches the picture? Hold or friend? Circle it. Good or friend? Next page, you're going to do a little cut and glue. And we're going to read the sentences and you are going to color, cut, and glue the pictures to match the sentence. The pig is in mud. We go on the bus. The boy will run. It is a little cub. Remember what a cub is? 
It's a baby animal, baby lion, baby tiger, baby bear. I can cut it. So right here next to each sentence, you're going to put the picture that matches that sentence. Last but not least is our religion page. Did you watch the Adam and Eve video from yesterday? If not, you need to go back and watch it. So you are going to label this picture with words from the Adam and Eve story. Then color the picture very beautifully. Do it nicely because this is for God. Snake, write that by the snake. Eve, write that by Eve. Adam, write it by Adam. God, they put God up in this cloud, so you can write God over there. And tree, write that by the tree. Color it beautifully. Do your best work. Make me proud, make God proud, and make your parents proud. See you on Monday. Bye.